I, special am guest. I, am I helping you with this, or are you doing this? Would you this? like to help? I would like to <gasps> see you do this. Why? I'm a good baker. I know you are. Welcome to Baking with Jay in quarantine. Today we're making chocolate crunch cookies, which I prefer to call chocolate coconut almond cookies. We already have our one cup of butter softened in our bowl, and now we need to get the sugars. So we need white sugar and brown sugar. Helping you with this, or are you doing this? Would you this? like to help? I would like to <gasps> see you do this. Why? I'm a good baker. I know you are. I don't want to do it myself. Because you want the measurements. Yeah, <laughs> I have dyscalculia. Love me. Oh, stop. <laughs> Special you can, guest. You can fill. <laughs> Mommy. You can quarter cup of white sugar. There we go. Close enough. I'm doing it. This is why she's not allowed to help. Because she gives me the look. Is that good enough for you? That's Perfect. Perfect. It goes in this bowl with the butter. Is that you to put your sugar away? Yes. Thank you. Then you need three quarter cup of patch brown sugar, which I'm going to try not to get everywhere, but I always do. And you pack it in there. It's the accent. Quarantine. Are you in quarantine or are you in isolation? No, Where I'm in self-isolation. Okay. Quarantine means that I went somewhere. I don't leave my house anyway, so this is not any different than my normal life. I just don't go to school anymore. It's all online and it's been a terrible experience. Into the bowl. Or not. Got him. And then you cream your butter and sugar until lightly fluffy. Okay. What? How much butter was it? I said a cup. Okay. You weren't here because you were peeing. That's good. It just looks That's good. like I'm chunky. I'm gonna add the eggs and smooth it out a bit. Next, add your two eggs. One at a time because we're not that skilled to do two at a time. One. Two. And your extracts. You have almond. And almond, so just your extract. You add your extract. Yeah, do you want me to do it because it comes up fast? Ow! Don't touch my weenus. One teaspoon of almond extract. Be careful because it comes out fast. <laughs> oh, now you need my help? Well, doesn't it need to be opened? You can't do this? Not with one hand. You're so mean to me. <laughs> I'm mean to you. Can you open this? <laughs> You're the assistant. Come on. I can't do it with one hand. It's really tight. You can't even do it with one hand. It's going to come out fast. It's going to come out fast. <laughs> came out really fast. <laughs> we like it extra almondy. <laughs> that mom's right. <laughs> just, and then, just, and then, just, and then, just, and then, just when. <laughs> How many times did I say it? And then you mix it all together. Move. How many times did I say mom. it? Mom. With your mixer. Don't get in my cookie. What the fuck was that? You're going to set your wet ingredients aside and get your separate bowl for your dry ingredients. You need two cups all-purpose flour. <laughs> I like how you just watch me and you're like, what did I get myself into 24 years ago? Oh. I don't need your knife, don't give me a knife. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I'm resourceful. Eh? One. She's giving me the look. It's not my fault that you had an inadequate child, all right? Two. I feel like I have failed the world. Because your child's an idiot? You raised me this way. Baking soda, we need one teaspoon. Oh, that's not a teaspoon. Is it a teaspoon? I'm sorry, I thought T -S -P. it was T-S-P. Okay, sorry, I thought it was a teaspoon. <laughs> no! 
You see what I go through, people? She does have no faith in me. No faith! I'm not as dumb as I look. I'm not just a pretty face. Next! Three quarter salt. I had it out. Oh, yeah. I was looking for a real small one like this one. But that would be a quarter. Three quarter tablespoon salt. We're pouring it over the sink because it comes out fast. Do you guys like my quarantine outfit? See how fast that came out? Close enough. I said, stop. It's not level. I'm gonna go back and level it. Then again, it'll counterbalance the amount of almonds. We like them almondy. And then you stir up your dry ingredients so that it's all evenly mixed. You know what? I think I could have my own baking show. I think it would go really well. I think people would be very entertained at how terrible of a baker I am. Next step. Gradually mix your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients and mix until fluffy. The camera put out, but we have two cups of shredded coconut in our bowl, and then you need one cup and a half of chopped almonds that are also going in that bowl. Then, you're supposed to have one package of chocolate chips. We don't have a package, we just have this. I'm assuming my mom doesn't want me to use all of these chocolate chips. So we're gonna do a cup and a half, a cup, two cups, yeah, three cups, <laughs> two cups. We've, we've decided on two cups of chocolate chips, which really means I'm gonna put three cups. Oh no. That's pretty much two cups, so we're gonna put that in. Perfect. And then you have to stir in your coconut almond chocolate concoction into your wet ingredients. I'm assuming you're not supposed to do it all at once, but we like to live on the edge. You're just gonna stir it until everything is mixed well. Spatula is not a good thing to stir with. That does not work. Back with a wooden spoon like a normal human baker. I feel like it would be easier to just use your hands, but in the time of the corona, we're not gonna do that. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Mom. <laughs> Mom. I love you. Still not what I'm looking for. I don't care. <laughs> now that you've mixed your mixture, you're gonna get a parchment paper lined baking tray. And you are going to Like. You're gonna take your cookie dough and you're gonna plop it onto your baking tray. If you want them to be uniform, you no. roll them. If so, you don't, then you just plop them like you're doing. So we're gonna plop them onto our baking tray. Three across and four down. Because we're not good with spatial awareness on this channel. Rolling them just makes them uniform. I know, but I'm just... Depends on how perfect you want them to look. Used to it. Do you want to look like Betty Crocker or do you want to look like Jay Gaunt? Oh. I don't know if I should be offended by that. Wow. Mama got shade. Did you just read me? Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm so much older than you. I don't know what that means. What do they do on RuPaul's Drag Race when they diss each other? Is that what they say? It's called a read. I didn't know that. Ugh. Boomers. I'm not a boomer. <laughs> what are you? I don't know. I think I'm a boomer. I'm not sure you're a boomer. Yeah, you're how old? 57? <laughs> you're a boomer. <laughs> oh, I did it myself. I'm an independent woman. Mm -hmm. I don't need no mom. Yes, I do. I really do need mom. <laughs> I lied. Once you have them on your baking trays, you are going to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The recipe says to put them in the oven for 9 to 11 minutes. So I'm going to put them in for 10 and then we'll reevaluate once those 10 minutes are up. And hopefully we don't have to put them back in for another couple of minutes, but we will see when that's done. Mom's doing all the heavy lifting. But we have discovered that 10 minutes is too long for this stove because we just got a new oven and have never made these cookies in it before. So we're gonna put them in for nine minutes and then hopefully 
they work better than... They worked fine. Yeah, they look fine, they're just a little... A little darker than what we're used to. A little dark. But anyways, that's the end of this segment of Baking with Jay, because I'm not going to film this process repeatedly. But the point is, you make the balls until all your dough is gone, and then you're good. You make the balls till all your dough is gone. Yep. And then you have lots of cookies to share with your friends and family in this time of social distancing. So really, you only have the people that you're isolating with to share with. Let me know down below if you want to see me bake more shit because this is all I do now in the time of isolation. Bye! Say bye.